five weeks old now. And um, I wanted to show you guys uh, something that's been really awesome for us is this slip lead. So it's one of these, it's a leash, but it's called a slip lead. And what it is, it's just, it's just a loop at the end of a rope. Okay, hold, hold both of here just for a minute so I can make sure. So here it is, and then they have this part of here that tightens it. This has been the best thing. So we have tried, um, Moses is really strong. He's got tons of muscles. So we've tried to train him with the um, prong collars and those, if not used right and correctly, they can really hurt the dog. Um, but we had some success on it, obviously. It's something that's really useful if you use it right. If you don't use it right, they can really hurt the dog. So I don't love that. Um, we've tried the choke collars. We've tried all these things and this is just the most humane and it actually works the best. So, let me show you how this works. You just take this and if, depending on what side of the dog that you're on, like which side you want to walk them on, you want to put, <laughs> like if I were to walk on the left, I'd put it as a P, look at him and have it be a P. Oh, Moses. <laughs> Moses, you can't <laughs> he, knows, he does not love this color because he knows what's coming. So I make a P and I put it on him. Okay, so if I were to walk, oh, thank you baby, I got him now. If I were to walk him, and if I were on his left, so it makes, can you pull in right here, Ian? So it makes this, if I'm walking him on this side, this is where I want it, because it cinches up harder, softer, harder, softer. Now this works really great. It's supposed to stay up here, which is kind of hard, but it works really great um, just walking him. But, so let's say that you come upon another dog, or a stressful situation where the dog is pulling. Okay, Ian, come down here and show him from this angle. So, you can change this to a muzzle. This is the awesomest part. So, you loosen it up like this. No, 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 no. no <laughs> he doesn't love it. So, you loosen it up like this and then get underneath his beard. Get on my hand. You twist it and then you put it over his muzzle like this. And then you come up here at the top and you pull this down. You don't want it tight, but this keeps it from getting bigger. Now, Moses, like this, is, an, is a complete angel. He will do, he will calm right down. I mean, notice he doesn't love it. His ears are kind of flat, but this isn't to be used all the time. It's just to be used when you really need um, an obedient dog that will calm right down and not run after things. It's, he is the best dog <laughs> when he's like this. Um, obviously when you pull, it pulls his muzzle too. He, anyway, he doesn't like it. And this works better than anything we've tried. Better than the prong collar, better than everything. So that's just something you guys might want to look into. And now I will make a video of the puppies. Go ahead and stop. <laughs>